I'm Wendy Garner for Children's of Alabama. Today, what a treat. We get to talk to someone who, of course, needs no introduction around these parts. Mr. James Spann is the Chief Meteorologist for ABC 3340. So good to see you. Honored to be here, Wendy. This is a time of year, of course, we're thinking a lot about tornadoes, but lightning season is now and really just around the corner as well. We need to be focused on that, too. Right. Tornadoes get so much attention, and they should, mm -hmm. but the truth is lightning is more of a threat because every single storm has lightning. Lightning. Hardly any of them have tornadoes. And the biggest season for lightning in our state is summer. Right. Every single day, June, July, August, I will find you a storm. They happen every afternoon. They tend to be random. They're not severe by classic definition, but the lightning is extremely dangerous. And a lot of times we don't respect it, especially children. And it's so easy to take care of yourselves. My rule is this. If you hear thunder, go inside. It sounds so common sense. You hear thunder, you go inside. That's the big rule, but a few things to think about. It doesn't have to be raining. Mm. A lot of folks say, well, I'm going to wait until it rains and we're going in. Right. Lightning can get out ahead of a rain shaft. You can have lightning out of an anvil perhaps eight miles away from the rain. And the other thing we like are the new technology phone apps uh, that people have on their phone. A lot of people can put lightning apps on their phone, especially in public places like ballparks where, where a large crowd is gathered. And my rule is six miles. Mm. Lightning within six miles, you stop. Everybody goes inside, whether it's a soccer field, a ballpark, any outdoor event. The minute you hear thunder, you've got to stop. It's inconvenient, but I'll say this. I'm afraid of one thing when it comes to weather, and it's lightning. Tornadoes don't scare me. Mm -hmm. We know they're coming. We have good warning. Uh, hurricanes, floods, we know that's going to happen. Lightning, I have no idea when or where the next strike will be within a single storm. And on a summer afternoon, on a hot summer day in Alabama, one storm can drop over 5,000 cloud to ground lightning strokes, wow, which is pretty just scary, stunning. Isn't it? It's horrifying. How can we keep our kids safe then? The, the main thing is just talk to them. It's like any, you have to communicate with your children and let them know that number one storms are good. A lot of kids have anxiety. They, they don't like storms. I remind them they are a blessing. If we don't have storms, we don't have enough water. It's a vital right. part of the water cycle. So storms are good and with lightning, it's electricity and that's good. We use it to turn on the television. We use it to turn on the lights, but when you go home, you don't stick your finger in an electrical socket. Mm -hmm. and, and with the same idea, when you're outside, you don't stay outside, you go inside. So the minute you hear lightning for a child, the minute you hear that first boom, that, that clap of thunder, you go inside. You don't wait, you don't delay, you don't panic, mm -hmm. but you simply go inside. You communicate that to them and that makes all the difference in the world and let them know once they're inside a house, inside a car, they're fine. Lightning will never chase a child through a front door. It's a simple truth, but once they understand that, know the storms are good, it won't scare them. All right, some good tips. James Spann, ABC 3340, thank you so much. My pleasure. Good to see you nice here see at you. Children's of Alabama. And for more information, you can go online, childrensal.org.